Hey, what's going on guys? Glandis Gaming here and we're back with another video. Today, we're gonna do a continuation of the last how-to video. So if you haven't seen that one, click the little card in, I believe it's the upper right-hand corner, because I'll put a card up there for the last how-to video. But we're gonna show you today how to install a mod pack from CurseForge into MultiMC. So let's get to it. Okay, so last time I showed you how to install MultiMC, which is a third party mod pack, uh, mod Minecraft launcher. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to install a CurseForge mod pack inside of that launcher. So you go to CurseForge, you can download their app and install the mod packs that way. I don't personally like doing that. I don't like having extra clunk on my computer. I like multi-MC. I like having one pane of glass for everything. I have all my instances in that. You can see all the different versions of everything that I'm playing. So that way I don't have to go from this mod loader, this mod loader, that mod loader. It makes things simple for me. So you can go here and you can search for mod packs if you want. Today I'm gonna show you how to load the fabulously optimized mod pack which is a fabric mod pack that has a bunch of optimizations installed into it to help make Minecraft run a little smoother. I use it when I'm doing my 119 worlds. That's why I have fabric mods loaded in there because you can also add mods to it once you have the mod pack loaded. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the Feed the Beast website and download the FTB app. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so that way you guys can easily find this without having to go to Google and finding it that way. You can go to Google, type in FTB app, and it should be the first hit on the searches, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description to make your guys' life easier. Feel free to pause this video if it goes too fast for you, but I'm gonna download this for now and then uh, be back with you in a second. All right, now that it's downloaded, I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna go to my downloads folder. I've already downloaded it once, but I'm, I just downloaded a fresh copy right here. So I'm just gonna install this on my machine. FTB app is also a mod uh, Minecraft launcher as well, but you only get to really see the FTB stuff. Um, you can search for CurseForge stuff, but at the same time, it's, it's another pane of glass to look at if you wanna keep adding panes to your Minecraft instances. I don't like that, so I'm just gonna. You have to use it in order to bring a Curse Forge into Multi MC. So that's the only reason we're installing it. But we're gonna run through this installer real quick. We're gonna accept the EULA. If you don't mind using seven different launchers for Minecraft, you don't have to go through any of this. But if you're like me and you like having one pane of glass to look at, then this is what you're gonna to need to do in order to install Curse Forge mod packs inside of your Minecraft instances on Multi MC. All right, it's done installing. I can close this and I can hit launch. And it's gonna take a minute to run for the first time because it has never run before. After the first time launch, it generally launches much faster. It doesn't generally take this long, so. The other thing to take into consideration is this is a virtual machine, so it is gonna run a little bit slower. All right, so here on the homepage, you're gonna see all the FTB mod packs that are out there, um, at least the most important one, like FTB Skies. Uh, that's an interesting one. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see me play that. I'm actually kinda curious what it looks like. I wonder if it's anything like Sky Factory. But anyway, back to what we were doing. So we're gonna go down here to Browse. And then we are going to go to the Curse Forge icon up here in the top of the window. And now we're gonna search for a mod pack. So let's just say you wanted to do Sky Factory. There you go. There's the Sky, there's a Sky Block one here. FTBs present Sky Factory 3. So you've got access to all of those. Now if I wanted to do the Fabulously Optimized, 
I can just start typing it and it will search and find everything that has FAB in it. It looks like the majority of the ones in this are fabric. All right, so I'm gonna click the little download link and then we're gonna go here to pick the release. Now, you can also install non-stable versions by clicking this little box. Now you see these betas show up. If you uncheck the box, by default it's unchecked. You don't see those betas, you only see the stable releases that are on the CurseForge website. So I'm gonna do the 119.4, and then we're gonna hit install. And now it's gonna go out to CurseForge and it's gonna download it into the FTB app. I can hit go to instance, and I, there it is. Looks like there's already an update available. Interesting. Oh, that's because it sees the beta. Okay. So it inside of here, you can see the update functions to be able to update the mod packs going down the road. So you can hit this little update function and it will download the updated version and then you can then import it again into your multi-MC if you want. I'm gonna minimize this, go inside of multi-MC. I'm gonna click add instance. And then over here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on FTB app import. And there's the one that we just downloaded from there. So if I go back here, and I go back to the browse, and let's just say I, I don't know, stone block three. I hit the install on this. Of course I pick a mod pack that is huge. Be with you in a second. Okay, we're not gonna do this one because it's huge. Um, let's pick another small mod pack on CurseForge's website. Um, something small. I think this one's small. No, it's not. I just want to show you that it's going to show up. Uh, helps if I learn how to spell. This one's small. Mm, relatively. There we go. 25 mods is bad. Okay. There we go, that installed. So now if I minimize this, and I go out of there and I go back, now both of them are there. So now to add it, all I gotta do is hit this mod pack, hit okay, now it's added. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Now, inside of MultiMC, you can create groups. I tend generally create groups such as this, so that way I can keep my vanilla instances separate from my modded instance. You don't have to do that, I just do it for my own sanity. Now all I should have to do is just double click this, and it should, in theory, should launch. I forgot to check the Java version that it's using. Let's see if it launches by default. And 
there we go. There's the mod pack. Minecraft 119, fabric, 45 mods, fabulously optimized, 4.11.0. And there we go. We just installed a mod pack from CurseForge inside of a third-party Minecraft launcher. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that thumbs up button. If you dislike this episode, hit that thumbs down button. It's not going to hurt my feelings. It's just going to tell me if you do or do not like my content. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think I should do next. Give me some hints. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? And if you've made it this far in the video, maybe consider subscribing. I don't know. It's your choice. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But I would appreciate it very much if you did. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye, guys.